All right, fellas, I'm going to tell you a story. I'm going to tell you the most simple shit that I've ever done in my life, right? Pretty funny story. But first, before I get into that, guys, go check out my Attraction 101 course. This is the foundation to your game, and this is the cheat sheet to attracting women into your life, and not only women, but attracting opportunity as well. So make sure you go get that. The link is going to be either in the description or the bio, wherever you're seeing this at. But let's get into, into it, right? So we're going to take you back to when I was 15 years old, right? So I'm in high school, 15 year old kid. I'm doing my thing with the girlies or whatever. I'm, I lost my virginity at this point. I got girls that like me. I know how to get girls. I know how to get laid. But there was this one chick in particular, and this is the first and only time that I've ever been in the friend zone, right? To where I wanted something from a woman and she was like, we're better off just friends, right? I wanted something from, this is the first and my last time in this predicament, but there was this girl that I really liked. I'm not gonna name her, I'm not gonna say names, right? Um, and I would be writing her letters, walking her to class, you know, the typical simp shit because, you know, I figure why well, I go, I need to go hard in order to get her. I need to, you know, I need to be on her head a little bit more. The thing was, is that this girl had a boyfriend that went to another school at the time. And this girl's boyfriend was, you know, he was one of those guys at the school, or, or he was one of those teenagers that was, you know, a little ahead of his time. This kid was selling crack and had tattoos and gold teeth. He was one of these guys. And I was just starting to come into my mischievous shit, right? But so this guy ended up transferring out to our school. So now the boyfriend is at our school, but that didn't stop me. I still wanted this girl. And it, it started to become an ego thing because I could pretty much you know, I was having, I was getting laid and stuff already, but I wanted her and she wasn't really, you know, she wasn't really giving me what I wanted. She wasn't returning, you know, she wasn't returning that level of interest, right? So I just started going super hard to get her, right? So here comes Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day come up and I had this bright idea, right? And I said, you know what? I'm gonna write this bitch a song. And not only am I gonna write her a song, I'm going to go to a music, a recording studio, and I'm going to record it. I'm going to get it burnt on a CD, and I'm going to give it to her for CD. I'm going to give it to her for Valentine's Day, right? Just telling her how great she is, right? I'm going to give it to her for Valentine's Day. And not only that, I'm going to give her flowers, and I'm going to give her her favorite candy. I forgot which candy it was. So, and also a card. So I went to a music studio. I recorded it because, you know, like most kids in the inner city, I know how to rap, right? And that's another story, but I actually, you know, did it for a while, uh, the whole rapper thing. And so I wrote the girl a song and I, I recorded it and I brought it to her for Valentine's Day. And of course I get, oh, that's so nice. You're so sweet and all this shit. So I'm like, yeah, this is it right here. Of course, you know, but I think we're just better as friends and, you know, um, you know, I like you, but you know, we make great friends and I don't want to ruin our friendship. So I'm like, Damn. now this is my introduction into the game, right? As far as the, the seduction and getting into women's mind and getting the best out of women and getting the upper hand over women. This because this kind of fucked with my ego because like I said, I never had problems getting girlfriends or and at this time I was already getting laid and I had my girls who liked me or whatever. But this shit kind of fucked with my ego. So I set out to... You know, there was other motivating factors that was going on in my life, but this was one of them to the one where I set out to not only understand women, but to truly conquer them because I didn't like the way that felt that I had went so hard at a woman and she wasn't really reciprocating, right? And so around this time, my father reached out to me from prison, right? Uh, and as you guys know, I talk about this all the time on my live streams when guys ask me where I get this game from. And, you know, being that he was... Being that he was away all of my childhood, I guess in order for him to connect with me, he had to give me what I want. That was his way of, I guess that was his way of feeling like, you know, he can make up for lost time. So, you know, and I was writing him about how to get girls. So and instead of saying, hey, stay in school, don't worry about girls, focus on your money. He just basically gave me what I want. And I believe that was to make up for lost time. So he started teaching me seduction at 15 years old on like deep dark seduction and how to really to manipulate women get a hold of their mind and the whole shit so i started using it right then and there and ultimately the girl started to jump on my job 
but she ended up switching schools, but um, she ended up switching schools and I never really seen her again up until a few weeks ago while I, re I looked her up on Facebook. She's still with that same guy, by the way, um, and she's disgusting now. She was beautiful back then, but uh, yeah, so I actually wrote a girl a song, right? I went to a music studio, I recorded the fucking song, and I gave it to her on Valentine's Day, along with flowers, chocolate, card, the whole fucking night. And I got the, oh, you're so nice shit, crushing blow. But that's how I set out to, that was one of the motivating factors that made me want to not only not feel that again, but to, to, to understand women and how to get, I wanted to be, I wanted, to, I set out to, to, you know, I had this ambition to, I wanted, if, if a woman gave me her time, I wanted to conquer her. I wanted to conquer her mind. And I always wanted to have the upper hand, right? Um, so again, that was one of the motivating factors. And my dad taught me how to do that through letters from prison. Right. And it was specifically about this girl at first. I was like, man, this is girl. And she ain't really, you know, she ain't really giving me no play like that. And so he was teaching me things like, well, stop, stop paying her so much attention, you know, fall back a little bit. We'll, we'll, hold, we'll, we'll draw your attention a little bit. Don't, don't, don't be so available to her. Like he started teaching me things like that. He started teaching me pullback methods and things like that. And the shit started to work, you know, with this girl. So it just got deeper and deeper and deeper. And then, you know, when I would write him, it would be about other stuff. And he just started teaching me the game basically at a young age. So that was my most simplest thing that I've ever done. So um, I need to see y'all and y'all laughing emojis. If you think that was funny, that was King Dre. Now I, have, I ain't never done no shit like that ever again, right? I, I'm not the simp type of person. Like I didn't have to um, you know, find some red pill moment or, or, you know, get abused and, you know, taken advantage of and come to a red pill moment. I've always had this mentality. It was just this one girl that I couldn't get. Right. But anyway, if you thought this was funny, I need to see your laughing emojis in the comments. Right. Because we all have our moments like this. Now, does that mean I was a simp all my life? Of course not. I'm not, like I said, I'm not the simp guy, but I made this mistake of going hard for a chick you know, not knowing better and expecting her to reciprocate or thinking that this is going, this is going to get this chick. And then I learned that, you know, that's not how you do things, but yeah, fellas, that's the most simplest shit that I've ever done. And that's also my introduction into what we call the real game, right? As far as like deep psychology, seduction type of shit, because like I said, I was already getting laid. I had lost my virginity. I had girlfriends all over the place and shit like that. It was just this one who I couldn't get a hold of, right? And that led me to do some pretty wild shit. But anyway, fellas, that's my 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 story time for the day. And let me know, also let me know down in the comment if you want more stories um, and you want me to continue my Player Tales series that I used to do. And I can tell you guys my player stories, you know, and some wild moments that I've had out here dealing with these women. But if you guys, if you guys like the video, if you found the video of value, um, like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you can get this good player shit fresh off the press. Also, guys, go jump on the Patreon. $5 for the best game on the internet, hands down. Trust me. Go jump on that. The link is going to be in the description or the bio, wherever you see this at. Also, go get Attraction 101, my Attraction 101 course, and How to Make a Woman Fall in Love with You. These are the cheat guides to your success in this dating world. And one more thing, fellas, if you need coaching, if you need me to help you get your game right, if you want to step your game up and take your game to the next level and you want it tailored to your specific needs, then reach out to me on my website at kingdreism.com and book a consultation with me. And I can guarantee you, your life will change for the better. But anyway, fellas, this is none other than your gracious game advisor. Yours truly, King Dre. I'm gone.